So many people want to know, is it possible to fall back in love with your spouse? I think it's a very, very core question because first of all, we do fall in love and falling in love is a drug. Nature drugs us and it drugs us to fall in love because actually we're attracted to most, the most incompatible human being in the entire universe. Nature brings us together with this incompatible human being so that later we can do the work of completion together. Nature has a wonderful program for us. Nature is not interested in our happiness. Nature is interested in our wholeness. And so it drugs us. And that wonderful cocktail of drugs that flows through our veins in the romantic phase really blinds us to the fact that we have fallen in love with a very incompatible person. That drug stays in our bodies for about, on the average, 18 months. Long enough for us to say we should get married, we should live together forever after, etc. And then nature does something very interesting. Once we are together and we are committed, slowly but surely, that wonderful love drug just comes out of our veins. And now we are ready to actually do the real journey we have come together for, which is help each other become whole people. Help each other grow from grown up, which is a person in a big body with a little child inside, that's a grown up. Help each other go from grown up to adult. An adult is a person where the little child that's inside has grown up and you're integrated, you're balanced, you are differentiated. You are the adult that you are. A marriage is a little laboratory for two grown-ups to help each other become adult. And so that cannot be done on drugs. That must be done sober. But what's really very interesting is if two people take on the commitment to help each other become adults, there will be so much bonding between them that the bonding drug that naturally flows through our body will begin to be bigger. The bonding drug is oxytocin. And oxytocin is in people's bodies in three times. One, at orgasm. Two, at childbirth. Three, during breastfe uh, uh, breastfeeding. Now, it turns out that oxytocin also grows its level in our bodies when we bond with our partner in marriage. And so couples who do this little laboratory, help each other grow from grown up to adult, are couples where it has found that their oxytocin level is growing more and more. And so, yes, you can fall in love again with your partner because as you do the real work of marriage, help each other become whole people, you will find that the oxytocin level is going to grow more and more and you will find that that feeling of in loveness now created not by the first drug, phenylethylamine and other drugs that course through your, your body in the in love phase, now there is another drug oxytocin, giving you that same sense of, wow, it's phenomenal to be with you. And I just want to tell that story. My husband and I in front of the counter, British Airways, the woman says, the two of you must be on your honeymoon. I'm upgrading you to first class. We didn't say anything. We said, thank you. But what she sensed between us was the high level of oxytocin, a couple married already at that time, 35 years.